everyone. I hope you're having a wonderful summer. Pretty much everybody's out of school now. Um, on last week's Mr. Mark's Mailbag, you guys did such a great job with coming up with adventure ideas. And so I challenged you that I wanted to have some letters that came in that focused on your school and uh, what makes your school special and what do you love about it. Of course you guys came through. We're a team. We always stick together. I needed a favor. I asked you a question. You responded. And also, though, you continue to send in your adventure ideas, and uh, we will make sure that we're going to discuss those ideas throughout the summer, right here on Mr. Mark's Mailbag. But this week is all about you and your school. So let's get right to it, my friends. First up, dear Mr. Mark, Blake, fifth grade from the great state of Missouri. Missouri. I've been to Missouri. Oh, I said I've been to Missouri. First thing, have you been to Missouri? Yes, Blake, I've been to Missouri. <laughs> we, oh, very cool. We had a virtual visit with you. I didn't get a chance to answer three things I love about my school. Like I said last week, it's one of the things, um, one of the questions I ask because I like to learn about your school uh, when I do my virtual visits. What goes on there? What do you like about it? I do that all the, that's one of my questions I ask on the virtual visits. And so uh, Blake was on one with me, but did not have a chance to, to tell me what his are. Okay, so number one, we have an awesome playground. That's great. That means you're outside and you're playing and you're having fun. And if you're having fun, you're gonna continue to do it every single day, boom. My teacher, that's always good to hear. And I, we do hundreds and hundreds. I, I think we've done thousands of virtual visits now. And it's always great to hear that you have good teachers that care about you and you're enjoying learning. And his third thing from Blake in Missouri is math. So Blake likes math. That makes one of us because no, I'm just kidding. I don't dislike math. It just wasn't my best subject. My best subject was number one. We have an awesome playground. Let's go outside and play. <laughs> um, thank you, Blake for listening last week and for sending it in. The next up, this is from Julian, third grade in Iowa. Huh, Iowa. I No, we've had a few letters from Iowa. Dear Mr. Mark, I live in Iowa. My school is great because right to the point, Julian, I like it. We have fun, okay? I hear that a lot. And some people might think it's silly, but it's not. Because when you're having fun and you're enjoying yourself, you pay maybe closer attention. Um, you look forward to going to school. And that's why I always talk about being active outside. It's good if you're having fun because you're gonna to continue to do it, right? When you have fun, you go outside and play tag. You wanna play tag the next day. You call up your friends, let's go play tag in the following day. But you're outside moving around. Very good. Um, going on adventures with you. Thank you. We love that you go on adventures with us because we need your help in stopping Mr. Lazy. There is a lot of fun. And number three, reading, writing, math. Julian sounds like a really, a really good student. Um, Julian likes pretty much all the subjects, reading, writing, and math. I like those too. I like those. But my favorite was history. I do like history. That would be my favorite. That's why my favorite episode is Colonial Chaos because we go back in time and uh, the pilgrims and uh, the Declaration of Independence, which Mr. Lazy actually had the Declaration of Sweet Dependence. He was trying to change. Uh, if you haven't done that episode yet or gone on that adventure with uh, me, it is a fantastic adventure. Very cool. Next up, dear Mr. Mark, this is Brittany, the fifth grade from the great state of Colorado. Dear Mr. Mark, as you say, I live, I live in the great state of Colorado. You're listening. We love it, Brittany. Thank you very much. This, not going to go off here, but that's why we put so much effort into making our adventures, and it's why it's become so successful. Once again, um, 26,000 teach schools out there play our adventure of fitness episodes, 12 million kids, about 30 countries, maybe even more. And one of the reasons is that you guys realize that we have a lot of passion for what we're creating for you. And there's details because you guys listen and you pay attention. 
I don't know how many times you've asked me a question of how can I have a short sleeve shirt on and shorts and be up on Mount Everest in Arctic freeze or um, abominable ascent, one of those events. And I'm like, you know what? That's great that you're paying attention to that. So uh, Brittany always knows that I say the great states of our country. So she's from the great state of Colorado. Three things that make my three things that make my school special. One, teachers, bingo. Two, recess, especially in snow. I've never had recess in snow, but it does sound like fun. Lots of fun. Be really creative out there. And just because it's cool doesn't mean that you're working hard and you're exercising, but boy, you are. One of the most impressive things in the Olympics, in the Winter Olympics, is the, uh, the cross country skiers. It's really difficult. And number three, what makes Brittany's school special is reading books. She loves to read books. That's a really good thing. Brittany, fifth grade from the great state of Colorado. Way to go, guys. That's going to do it for this edition of Mr. Mark's Mailbag, kind of our summer edition. Continue to send in your adventure ideas. And if we get a little light, which we're expecting, right? We're not in school. Uh, we're getting a little light probably on the letters that are coming in from you guys. They might trickle in a few. But the good news is we have so many from uh, school year that we can't wait to be able to read them on the air to you. So maybe if you sent a letter in two months ago, three months ago, whatever it is, it finally might get read on the air. Very cool. So for Director Denny, I'm Mr. Mark. This is Mr. Mark's Mailbag. We'll see you next week. And as always, keep it moving.